Hello, today we are looking at testing and really reviewing VEA, the Voice Enhancement Assistant by Isotope. It's priced at £29 and what it's designed to do is basically clean up and make your audio sound pro, whether a videographer, a podcaster or even I guess a singer, just something easy to just enhance your voice. Now previously and currently, I guess, I use the Elements version of RX, which basically denoises the audio I'm currently using and just makes it sound that a little bit more professional. But this is a cheaper alternative and essentially does a little bit more. It EQs it, it boosts it, it has these three different settings, shape, boost, and clean. Clean, well, it just reduces any noise, any hiss or background buzzing. Boost, apparently makes your voice more powerful, but in all honesty, I think it's just a bit of compression and gain. Oh yeah, it says it right there, compression and limiting. Well, there you go. And then shape, this is kind of your EQ. So essentially what we're going to do in this video, we're going to put it through three different scenarios and I'm going to be using a couple of different microphones as well. I really want to put this plug in to the test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside, I'm going to go in nature next to a river and record myself using a lapel and shotgun microphone. I'm then going to go into town uh, where there's traffic and people talking and test it there as well and then we'll come back in the studio and test it on kind of my bog standard setup but we'll still use a shotgun microphone a lapel microphone and my studio microphone but before i go out i feel it's important that we have a quick look at the plugin uh, and see what we actually have so initially when you actually load it up it says uh, it waits for an audio signal so you'll see that when we go straight into the demos um, but what you essentially get the three things we just talked about clean shape and boost and you can put as much or a little on it gives you a recommendation there's a default there's public radio there's a couple of different uh options there there's a bypass button there's a, a redo button because it is an automated assistant it kind of automatically works out what it feels is best for it there's a dark and a light mode <laughs> I think I prefer the light mode. If you actually look in the settings, there's a show reactive visuals. Although I guess that could be a little bit CPU heavy. I'm not going to personally use that in this video because I've got a lot going on and I'm recording my screen, but that's an option too. So for the first one, I will show you how it does at the automated assistant. Um, but for the rest of the demos and for the second microphone, uh, I'll do that off camera i'm not going to touch or edit anything i'm just going to do its recommended settings but i have done it for every single audio clip i've not just used the same one uh for the bit in the woods and the same one for the bit in town i have redone the assistant uh to see what it comes up with it's just that will be off camera just to make this video move a little bit more smoothly um, but i will flick through everything and i'll make sure i title everything so you know when the plugin is on and when i've swapped microphones but let's now take this out of the studio and start doing some demos. So for our first location, I am out in the middle of the woods. You can probably hear there's a river well, to my left. I've got a shotgun microphone on top of my camera and I'm wearing a lapel microphone as well. I've got two microphones going. So I think I'm just going to switch between the two. I'll have a listen to see which audio is kind of the best. I'll be intrigued to see how uh, the VEA performs with the shotgun and how it performs with the lapel mic. If it can uh, make my voice sound more clear. I know the lapel, I'm not the biggest fan of it. It sounds a little bit muffled, especially compared to the shotgun, which I feel is sharper and has a better treble. But I'm intrigued to see if the, well, the plug-in reduces noise from the river, if it reduces the ambience. I know there sometimes can be a bit of noise on the shotgun microphone as well, so if it completely gets rid of that. So fingers crossed, I'm very intrigued to see how this plugin performs. Uh, might be saving me a little bit of money and save other people money instead of having to buy Isotopes RX. But I really regret using this camera because it's super heavy. I'm gonna have to use two hands to hold it now. I'm trying to give room on the camera so we can have the plugin to my left and my face on the right and the, of course, beautiful <laughs> Welsh countryside. Um, but that's it from this location. Let's now move into town and get some more background noise of people. 
and see how it performs over there before we test it in the studio. And we are back. We are in our second location. We're in the middle of town. You can probably hear background noise, people chattering away, uh, vehicles going by. A little bit of a different sort of noise than just nature and kind of just the background hum of a studio. I'm really trying to put this plug in uh, to the test in as many different locations and scenarios as possible so you can gauge whether this is the right plugin for you. Overall, it's a great price. It is aimed at more the videographers and podcasters. Um, currently, I use RX by Isotope to clean up my audio. I just use the denoise and that gives it a really nice polished sound. So I'm intrigued if this does the same thing. If it's better than that, I do love Isotope's plugins. I use Ozone is as I just said, RX and really I'm trying to ramble as much as possible <laughs> so that you can really gauge what it sounds like with the plugin on, what it sounds like with the plugin off and try and swap between the different microphones to see if there's a different effect with the plugin on and off. Um, but people are looking at me funny so I'll probably <laughs> move on and go into the studio now and do a bit more of a a normal test. I say normal, that's how I normally record, but this might be how people normally record. So, I don't know. We'll see if this plugin might be in for you or not. But I think that's enough time, so we're going to call it there. We'll see you back in the studio. And now we're back in the studio for the third and final test. This time I have three different microphones. I have my classic studio, the one I always use in all my videos. I've got the shotgun microphone, which you can see on that camera above me, and I have the little lapel microphone. So I'm trying to keep it consistent with the other ones, as well as include a studio microphone for a more podcasty way of doing things. So we've covered quite a few bases. So now that's really put this plug into the test and see if it's gonna get rid of any background noise currently. The only noise I can really hear in the studio is the fan from one of my lights. Sometimes my laptop goes and you can hear the fan, um, but that's quite easy to get rid of with RX from Isotope. Um, so again, I'm really intrigued. Uh, firstly, comparing the microphones, these literally three different microphones here to see what if it affects the quality of them at all. The studio I think will be the best of all. I have done a video previously testing these three different microphones but again it's going to be really interesting to see if this plugin affects the voice at all uh, as well as the background because the only thing RX does is really reduce the noise it doesn't EQ the voice it doesn't uh, polish it off in that sense it just gets rid of noise and generally I don't EQ it I'm very happy with this microphone but Again, very intriguing, and this will be the final test. Um, I have no idea what the results are going to be yet. <laughs> and this is going to be a very interesting video to edit and to put together, and something a little bit different for me to actually create. So it's going to be an interesting journey. So we will see how this goes. I think that's enough time of just randomly talking. <laughs> Those results were rather interesting and I think the biggest difference I saw was actually in the control in the studio setting. I really liked what it did to my shotgun microphone in the studio. It really, it just boosted it, it gave it a little bit more shape, uh, a bit more colour, uh, it felt more natural. The lapel microphone, I actually didn't like what it did to it in the studio. I still heard a little bit of hiss on there. Uh, out and about, actually, the town one, uh, it feels like it kind of holds back a little bit on the noise reduction, which I can kind of understand because sometimes it puts too much, some plugins put too much, and you just get that drop in and drop out effect, which doesn't sound very good at all. So I'd rather have the background noise than the constant gate of just dropping in and out. Does it do what it says on the tin? Yes, it does and it does it really well actually it's very intuitive and for especially somebody who's a complete novice who doesn't know i guess really what they're doing with eq limiters compressors uh and especially with the noise reduction it did clean up my studio on the studio microphone the lapel i still had a bit of noise um but for a novice this will, I feel, give you some really good quality audio. And I really like the fact that it holds back a little bit on cleaning up that background noise. Um, but it does shape the voice a little bit nicer. It does make everything feel a bit more intimate. And for £29, 
for what it does, I think that's a very fair price. Uh, it's not for the pros. Even on the website, if we flick back to it, it says right at the bottom, ready to go pro, and it takes you to RX10, which I love the elements of that. And there's so much more you can get into with RX. But again, for the novice, for somebody starting out or somebody who specializes in videography and doesn't really work with audio, this could be a very intuitive and clever plugin. But what did you think? What did you think of the demos? Uh, what do you think of the results? Do you think I need to put this to the test a little bit more? Um, I'm intrigued to see what your opinion is. If you saw much of a difference, I hope you were wearing headphones. But that's my opinion. Overall, I am impressed, especially for the price tag. And when it goes on sale, it'll probably be even cheaper. So maybe watch out for those sales. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Hmm. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.